Hi, I'm Ed Zinda, and this is What the Funk. In this video, we're gonna learn how to send ERC-20 tokens using raw transactions and Go. But first, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so you can stay up to date on when I post new videos. Let's start coding. Okay, much in the same way that we transferred Ether using Go, we have to build a raw transaction and we also have to have a signer to sign that transaction. Uh, the only thing that's gonna be different is that we're actually going to add data to that data parameter on our transaction. So as you can see here, I've created a new project and I've gone ahead and done most of the boilerplate. I've connected to a local node, which is uh, using Ganache. I grabbed a private key and then created an account from that private key, getting the public key and the address. Uh, then I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of the parameters that we're already gonna put into our transaction. So we've got our nonce, we've got our value, and our gas price. Now we're gonna have to start building up that data parameter. And to transfer tokens or to interact with any sort of uh, smart contract on the Ethereum network and build from a raw transaction, you need to start out with the function that you're going to call on the Ethereum network and then add the arguments one by one, but you have to do it in a specific way. So before we start building, a few things we're going to need are a to address and a token address. The to address is going to be who we're sending the tokens to, and the token address is the address of the smart contract. Now I've gone ahead and deployed just a simple ERC-20 token contract to my Ganache instance. And you can see in transactions, uh, we've got this contract address over here. First, we're gonna go back and decide who we're gonna send these tokens to. So we're just gonna pick this second address, copy it. Then we're just gonna save that to a variable. Next, we need this contract address and we're gonna save that to a variable as well. Now the first part of our token transfer data is going to be what is called the function signature. Now to get a function signature, basically you take the name of the function that you wanna call and then any arguments that are part of that function and you basically make a little string out of that. Then you make a hash using the Kekak 256 uh, hashing algorithm that's common in a lot of Ethereum code. And then you take only the first four bytes of that hash. So this is what the signature looks like in plain text. Got the transfer function. The first argument is an address. Second argument is a uint256. Next, we want to hash it. So we create a new kekak256 hash object, and then we write that string into our hash. To get the method ID, we just take the first four bytes of that hash. So we can print that out just to see what that looks like. Uh, it's in bytes, so we have to encode it into hex so we can actually display it on the screen. So let's go ahead and comment this first part part out, save it, just so we can see what our method ID looks like. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see the method ID looks like this. Back to our code. Now that we have a method ID, we need to add the arguments that are going to be passed to this method. The first one is the to address. Now we can't just use this as is, we have to pad the front of this with 32 extra bytes. So we can do this using one of the common utilities provided by the Go Ethereum library and left pad bytes. So the first argument would be the address and then in bytes and then the number of bytes to put in front of it. Let's go ahead and print this out. Let's run it. And you can see the method ID and the address padded with 32 extra bytes. Back to our code. The second argument is a uint256 and that represents the amount of tokens we want to send. So that's going to be a big integer and that's gonna be represented with 18 decimal places. So we're gonna to have to add 18 extra zeros to whatever number we send. So let's create a new big int. And we can set the number with this set string function. So I've got 1,000 and then 18 extra zeros. So we're gonna send 1,000 tokens. 
Again, we need to pad this with 32 extra bytes, and let's print that out. Run it one more time. So method ID, address, and the amount we want to send. And all of these are in hex bytes and padded at the front. Now we've got our method ID, we've got our to address, and we've got the amount to send. I also apologize, I misspoke earlier when I said we needed to pad it with 32 extra bytes. We actually just have to pad it with whichever is left over because each string has to be 32 bytes exactly. So if it's not 32 bytes, we just pad it with zeros up to 32 bytes, not with an extra 32 bytes. Just wanted to clear that up. Now the next thing we need to do is build up our data parameter. And we do that by taking the method ID, the padded address, and the padded amount, and then concatenating them all together. So let's create our data variable, then append all of these together. Now that we've got our data variable, we've got everything we need to send except for the gas. We can find how much gas we need by using the estimate gas function. So we'll use the estimate gas function and then we will act like we're sending a transaction and this will estimate the gas. And we can print that out here. And just like when we're sending ether, we need to create a raw transaction object, which takes the nonce, the token address, value, gas limit, gas price, and the data that we just built. We need to sign the transaction with our account. Finally, we can send the transaction and print out the result. Let's make sure to uncomment everything up here. Save. Everything looks good. Let's run it. And as you can see, the transaction went through. And that's it. That's how you transfer an ERC20 token using Go. All right, and as always, if you like this video, go ahead and tap that like button ever so gently. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below, and I'll see you in the next video.